there's the pond, guys. That's kind of where it all started. Welcome to the nature round. We're at the nature round inside. This is a loon with a baby. It's a loon bird with a baby. Come on, over here. We're going to see a mom bird and a dad bird. This is the daddy bird because it's all red. And now we're going to come see the mommy. This is the mom one. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And here's a duck with some chiclets. See? Very nice. Those are wood ducks. Wood ducks. Cool. Cerulean warbler. That's a beauty, huh? Yep. So beautiful. beautiful. Blue. This is a beauty of a hummingbird picture. I'm not really sure it's a real hummingbird because hummingbird's wings go really fast. But there's a blur That's right That's real. Here. So it, That's totally real. It is totally yep. real. Nice photo. Jim Retzel. Good stuff. That's awesome. It's hollow. So here's one of the exhibits that was in the original. They built this like in the early 90s, Megs. And then they redid it about 10 years ago, I think. So all, this is like looking from underneath. Yeah. And then all this wood is chestnut. Which they would call wormy chestnut. Then there's the pond, guys. That's kind of where it all started. Can we go out there? So this is the pond where my love of turtles started. It was a very different place. There was just a tiny, tiny building here. Uh, and you could go right up to the edge of the pond. There wasn't so much duckweed on it. But yeah, my grandpa brought me here. I was probably about six and we just watched turtles all day long. I don't see any turtles. Yeah, there's so much duckweed in there, it's tough, but I see a little bridge down there, and maybe we can get to that. I do see the bridge. Look at this, man. This place has okay. just really become spectacular. Let's go inside to see something really spectacular. Okay. Spooky. And cushiony with a light. Wow, bat cave. Yeah, bat cave. Very fun. Big crayfish. That is huge. And then there we go. Painted turtle. Is it a painted turtle? Yes, it is. Well, look, this turtle's coming to check you guys out. This turtle is a water turtle, but he has very little water. But I bet there's a story behind this. Yeah. Tree frogs. Three tree frogs? It's a big one. Yes. And we've got a fox snake. Those are from further north and west, up along a lake Erie. And the eastern box turtle, occasionally you'll find them around here, but often they're escaped. Oh wow, 
Oh, I didn't see that page. And there's a suspension bridge. That sounds fun. Got some New England Aster, Canada Goldenrod, some black walnuts growing up, red bud, purple cone flower still hanging on. I love plants too, guys. That's what I do for my day job. There used to be a barn owl by, uh, like station right in here. Uh, and there, there was actually a big catalpa tree around here, too, that I think is gone. The other thing this place became famous for is people feeding chickadees, hand feeding them. I think this is the path to the overlook. Okay, let's see if we can find a turtle. Talk about a lot of duckweed and algae. They've got the tiny, tiny one too here. I forget what it's called. Tiny, tiny what? Wolfiella, maybe. Wolfiella? Yeah, that's that tiny, tiny duckweed. This would be a good place to spot some green Guys, frogs can I show or bullfrogs. You the signal if you see a turtle. Okay, yeah, what's the signal? Okay, that's turtle signal, everyone. Okay. I hear a chickadee. Oh, I see a turtle. Over the, on that log over there. I'll see if I can blow it up. But it's on that log extending out. Oh, He's facing two. us. There's two. You see two? Oh. Oh yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't see. bring a tel telephoto. Show lens, me. But. I don't. See okay, it. Paige. It's it's right there out on that log. So hey, Paige. Okay. Here, go quietly that way. You can see them. Do you see the baby? Ooh, what's that? A shark claw? Yeah, it's called, it's called a glacial erratic. Glacial erratic. We have big boulders like this all over Northeast Ohio that were brought to us by glaciers. Pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Here is common privet. This was a very frequently planted shrub for hedges probably all over Akron, and now it is a nasty weed in our natural areas, unfortunately. That's why we plant native plants, guys. And then here's the other biggie. This, your burning bush that you plant in your home, so guys, this is awful, okay? It's getting out in natural areas, too. So I found the barn owl building. I'm not sure how I missed it the first time, and I think we can go over there. Let's take a look. Wow, this is so cool because this same building, or at least a similar building, used to be here like 30 years ago. Oh wow, no, no longer a barn owl habitat, just a maintenance shed, but uh, you know, that brings back memories. Yeah. This is where Bert Zabo, famous Summit County naturalist, led his last hike. Fortunately, unfortunately, he just passed away. Uh, I believe within the past year. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.